He was a profound social activist. And so he was charged by people who wanted to change the world for the better. His sense of humor made him great. He could bring a lighthearted comment to a pretty serious situation and take the pressure off. And that was Warren's power. I think the Bluegrass Festival is one really good example or metaphor for the joy that he got in giving. When you worked with Warren, you didn't just work on music. If he was involved in something, you got involved. He was a guy that did a lot of collective impact work and brought people to things and said, you need to be part of the solution. We need you. How have you been feeling? Well, better, much better. Oh, Dad's philanthropy was a lot about people. So if he met someone who could passionately describe their project, he'd be excited about it, and, and more so if he could see the tangible effects in the community. I said, Dad, you know, we've really been thinking about it, and we're not happy doing the private practice anymore. And, uh, you know, there's all this trouble with people without health insurance. Richard and I would really like to start a free clinic. And Dad burst out with, well, that's about the worst idea I've ever heard. How are you going to raise your money? What are you thinking? And um, so we sort of had the wind taken out of our sails. <laughs> but not too long after that, he started to kick into suggestions for how he could help us and introduced us to people so we could tell our story. And we started to show support from other doctors and, and um, a couple of early donations. And, you know, everybody else jumped on board pretty quickly after that. I think the thing that Warren had a great force of will about was we're going to make this work. When Warren said that, like, stuff was start gonna start happening. <laughs> and Warren said that about the San Francisco Foundation. He had a fundamental belief about what it could mean to this community, to the city that he loved. And at a time when the foundation was at real risk. He invited me to meet him, and he said that it was gonna be a lot of fun. And I said, well, how do you define fun, Warren? <laughs> and he said, well, there's lots to do. And then he took out the stone that he had in his pocket and he said, this is my lucky stone. And I brought it with me because I wanted to make sure this lunch went really well. So I remember walking away from there thinking, OK, here's this phenomenally successful business leader, civic leader, and he's got a lucky rock in his pocket. <laughs> about him is he was complex. You know, he didn't just focus on one thing. He saw that, that our culture is a web, so you have, to, you have to weave it. We came up with Toe to Toe together, which is a fundraiser between Cal and ODC, and he said, oh, I have this great idea that we need to show people that being a dancer is really a, an amazing athletic achievement. But the real point was that he didn't sign a check. He said, how can we do something where it would raise some consciousness and be fun? I think he had an artistic muscle. You know, he played the banjo from when he was young and then he came back to it. So there was a, there was a part of him that always was located in another language, music. Let's let Warren play one on the, on the banjo. Yeah. We met this man, just this guy at lunch, and he wanted to know if we could do a festival in the park. And we said yes. And I said, but we better invite Emmy Lou Harris so people come. And he said, I love Emmy Lou Harris. And I said, okay. And we did it. At the end of the first one, he was so, so jazzed. He got on stage and he goes, want to do it again next year? And the whole audience said, yes. And he goes, okay, we're doing it. Kentucky, keep on shining. I know the one that I love tonight. I think the Bluegrass Festival did change him. It let him stop driving himself so much. He could feel the people enjoying this thing that he had set up, um, and it just, you know, that was it. Everything was in that moment.
Warren's legacy is all of the people that he touched and that got to see him and got to work with him. And I'm just one of many, many, many people in that domain. Anybody who ever really worked with him or sat with him or walked up a hill with him, you're different. You're different. <laughs>